Evening, everyone. It's uh, Monday evening, 5.53, and this is your video number 878. And I'm going to keep it a little on the short side because for whatever reason, my E-Trade platform is not giving me all of the information that I usually cover. Uh, but let's just start with the market was up strongly this morning and finished pretty close to the low, <clears throat> excuse me, down 97.31 or a little over a quarter of a percent. NASDAQ, which was also up strongly, finished up but only $8.39 uh, and did in fact dip below unchanged uh, for a nanosecond uh, right before the close. The S&P was also up about 20 or $22. It finished down $8.10 or two-tenths of a percent. The Russell was down 1075, a half a percent, and the biggest loser was the Dow Jones Transports, down just under 84 or 0.6 percent. Market internals were one to one on the NASDAQ, 1.2 to one to the downside on the NYSE, and volume was lighter. Uh, we had some uh, earnings today and some other attendant news. So I'll give you uh, on semiconductor, ON beat top and bottom and had its best day in probably two years, closing 43.65, up 459 or 11.75%. After the close, we had Simon Properties, which was also a beat top and bottom. And after closing at 126.32, <clears throat> excuse me, down 20 cents, it rallied about $5 to 131.45, a new high for the day, and finished 129.71, up 313, or about 2.5%. T2 Interactive, the game company, also reported and also a beat, but not up to expectations. Uh, and the stock is currently trading 167.40. That's down 581 or three and a third percent. Uh, MU, after the close, stock closed 77.64, up six cents. After the close, they announced. Uh, reinstatement of a dividend and the stock popped up to about 79. Last is 78.80, up $1.27 or 1.64%. And GE, lowly GE, on its one for eight reverse, traded in a 11 point range today from uh, 107.21 on the high to 96.44 on the low and closed somewhat in the middle. Last is 100.70. That's down 290 or 2.8%. Uh, futures all over the place. Um, grains up a little. Oil down hard. The high for the day on oil was unchanged. The low was just over 70 and a half. Um, that is not a good looking day. Uh, talk about um, COVID and the Delta variant uh, sent most of the uh, reopening related stocks lower. The airlines and cruise lines were all lower. And as you can see, we're back to testing that $70 area. I think that that test is probably going to work out. Uh, if not, uh, 69 would be the next stop. Uh, gold, now, for some reason, this appears kind of strange. It shows the gold up $5. But when you look at the chart, it looks more like barely changed. As you can see here, it shows uh, 1816.80 versus yesterday's <clears throat> excuse me, 18, 17, 20. So uh, that would be down about 40 cents. It is showing up $5 towards the high of the day. I know that it did trade there. But again, uh, you know, this is the area that I really want to see it hold. The low of the day was 1808. And whether it closed at 1817 or 1822, the bottom line is it tested 1810 again and rallied off the low. 
uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I dealt with this first thing this morning and it seemed to have held all day. Bitcoin closed down seven hundred and seventy five dollars at thirty nine one eighty. That was a move of one point nine four percent to the downside. Ethereum, on the other hand, had a positive day and closed at twenty six ten, which was up two hundred and eighteen. And that was just over nine percent. So, uh, you know, uh, you know how I feel about this. I really like the Ethereum more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is certainly the name that pops into everybody's mind um, as soon as they uh, hear the word crypto. But uh, I think that Ethereum has a substantially better usage profile, both for its open source platform for building like uh, NFTs. Um, and, uh, you know, I just favor it on a relative basis over the Bitcoin. And today was kind of the poster child for why. Uh, the dollar was down about 12 cents, nothing overwhelming. The bonds were up a point and a quarter. And this really gives me pause. I have no idea why we got as strong as we did. Um, and actually, we went home short in the market. All right, everyone. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I want to remind you to please hit that subscribe button. It is really helpful to us. Show that you uh, appreciate all of the hard work that goes into this. Have a good evening. I'll be back in the morning.